I saw the moon landing of uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, and I just thought that was amazing. The whole space program was starting to open up. I thought, what possibilities? And then almost exactly the same time, I saw a special on public television about neutron stars. And they had been hypothesized some years earlier. On the show, some scientists from MIT were describing what it was like to be near a neutron star and the amount of energy liberated if you dropped a marshmallow on it. Well, that, that got me, that marshmallow <laughs> falling onto the neutron star and liberating all that energy. So the very next day, I took a bus down Mass Ave to MIT and I knocked on the door of one of the people that was in the show and he was amused and uh, talked to me and he said, so what are you really interested in? And I said, well, I'm really interested in, in the cosmos and understanding the universe better. And, and by the end of the summer, three professors there all wrote letters to the administration to admit me as a graduate student at large. But I was really wanting to go back to California for personal reasons and I went to Caltech and I did the same thing, I knocked on doors. So they admitted me after a year as a graduate student in physics. I was in that first wave of young people who were X-ray astronomers. We were launching rockets from White Sands, New Mexico, and then the first satellites were being launched. I mean, in the end, you have to believe a prediction enough to go after it and just see if it's there or not. You might be an amazing new discovery and you're the first person to see it.